Hey everyone, it's ecartman 12 and today we'll be looking at flash support on the Asus iPad Transformer. Something that I like about these Android tablets is that they support flash, whereas the iPad doesn't. I think the iPad should, although uh, the uh, Apple having fallen out with Adobe, they still should have uh, on a, you still should have flash on a 10-inch screen. Otherwise, it feels like a very incomplete experience in my opinion. Now let's go into the browser and let's just do the regular search youtube.com and let's just go on to my channel and I like the fact on the keyboard it's got all the numbers displayed on the top it's easier to quickly type on the numbers as well keyboard's very nice to use okay now I have set uh, my flash on on demand so I'm good so every single time you'll have to ask me when to load flash I do that because when I go to websites there's sometimes flash ads and I don't really care for those so uh, it'll just take longer to load the page so that's why I have it set to on demand as you can see flash works it very well the only thing I will say is it's very very annoying when sometimes this uh, where you scrub through video this takes forever to uh, just move it across but it is better than no flash and yes it does display the ads on the videos as well so then well, while that's going on you can scroll through other videos say if you're looking for other videos to watch then you could tap on another and uh, very very nice and you could also tap uh, let's just decrease the volume and you can uh, press the, this 360 and uh, change the uh, quality of the video as well to 720p if you so wish. You can cross off that ad. And then you could also uh, increase the screen size as well. So, yes, flash uh, support, well, at least with videos, is very good. You can also do that with other video players as well, not just uh, specific to YouTube. Now, let's do something different. Now, something that many people haven't talked about on uh, flash support with these devices is how does game online gaming work? So, let's go onto a uh, website. Okay, so here's the page loaded. The game's going to be right over here. Let's wait for it to load up. Now, as you can see, the game is loading. Let's increase the volume. And let's tap play runs very very smooth with stuff like an iPad you can't do this oh a little bit of lag showing up here which is quite odd considering the very nice and smooth animation it just did okay crush the castle Let's just go to new game. Uh, go forth. Now, as you can see, it is a little bit laggy right here. Let's uh, see. Click anywhere to start the launch. Then you have to tap again in order to hit the rock. On. But as you can see, it's not performing very well. So it's almost pretty much unplayable. Well, that being said, some games do work quite well. Okay, so I've c come to another game. And now, this game is pretty violent, so I'm not going to show any sort of gruesome images. But what I will, as you can see, here's a flash game right here. You can sort of uh, drag this little rag doll around. Now, this game, I'm not going to be showing any of the gruesome stuff, but as you can see, you do need uh, sort of like a mouse and keyboard to play. You can sort of manage on uh, your... You can sort of manage on your own, just using your finger. But uh, it's better to probably use a mouse or something with this. So, let's bring this keyboard dock in here. Okay, so now, as you can see, if I enable the mouse, as you can see, here's the mouse pointer right here, going all over the screen. Now, if I just try bring this a bit closer, now, I, what I can do is use uh, this little paintbrush. Little glitches if you have to put the keyboard dock on after you actually start the game. But as you can see, use the mouse, as I'm doing right now, and it does work. So some games like this, as you can see, are playable. So there you go guys, that was uh, Flash content on the Asus ePad Transformer. As you can see, it does move very, very smoothly. You can get away with using the uh, 
uh, touch screen, but it is uh, nicer. You'll find when you actually play more online games, that's nicer to use the included keyboard dock. So it's definitely worthwhile to get the keyboard dock as well when you purchase one of these. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.